guys, we're back to Moldova. 2022 has been a crazy year with the war in Ukraine and our inability to go back to Odessa. So we decided just to get some peace and quiet here back in our home country. And uh, we're gonna stay for an undetermined period of time. Uh, one of my most popular videos on YouTube is actually Moldovan Villages in Winter. So consider this episode like a summer variant of that video. We have pretty big plans for this weekend. So we need to pick cherries, make cherry jam, also visit a church because it's a big Orthodox holiday uh, and there's a women monastery there and then go to a winery. That's a long list so I need to hurry up to make sure I manage everything. This is some celery, usually we use it for pickling. Here are some parsley, it is overgrown, but you can see down there parsley leaves, salad. Then I think this is overgrown radish by the leaves, but I'm not sure. Uh, this is sorrel, we usually put it in different kind of soups. We have um, a spring soup that we call, uh, that has a sour taste and sorrel makes it make sour. And this is for cooking, looks like thyme. And here is cat. Look at these earrings. Today we are picking some cherries to make some sweet cherry jams. We are going to pick from this tree. We are cutting some branches from the top of the tree because it's way too tall and we can't collect the cherries there. Uh, this is not too damaging for the tree. The tree will regrow its branches next spring, no problem.
just uh, did a quick stop in Orsaya. This is a local village on the way to Martha Maria Monastery uh, to see what they have. They have a Sunday market. They um, sell their local produce. And let's see what they have in store for us. Put something to cover my chest, my shoulders, and also something for the head. This is the difference between here Catholic and Orthodox churches and Orthodox. You have to put something over your head if you're a woman and uh, uncover your head if you're a man. Do I look good? Let's go. So many people are coming to the church today. It's actually a big holiday. It's called the Grand Sunday, Dominica Mare. It's 50 days since Easter. And religiously, I think it signifies that the Holy Spirit is descending on earth. <laughs> Not a very religious person, but I think that's the significance. I've just been inside of the church and the atmosphere is magical. There are so many people there with small kids, families. Uh, it's really nice to see. As I mentioned before, I'm not a religious person, but definitely this whole ritual has its charm and the music is just amazing. I think the nuns uh, from the monastery are singing and their voices are just angelic. There is a really nice tradition during this holiday, which is called also Rusalili, that's how the people call it, to decorate your house, your, your gates with uh, branches of trees, usually walnut or willow or linden. So when you walk through a village, everything is super green. That's a really nice tradition that I like a lot and I remember even from my childhood going to my grandmother's in the village. exhibiting different type of carpets. You can just sit here, enjoy coffee or tea and look at this amazing work art. And here is the castle itself.
they have right their cottages then I think there is a pool what's here I really don't know and that's the castle only part of it it's historic and behind the castle is the area where they produce the wines And this is the inside of their restaurant. We are still waiting for the wine tasting. In the meanwhile, I'm just going to show you around. Super modern and very stylish. You see um, historical photos of Castel Mimi hanging on the walls. Overall, it just has this gorgeous design. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching the video and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe. For such a small content creator like me, every like and every comment and every subscription really counts. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video, bye bye!